What is going on everyone? This video is about everything you need to know about the new data preview functionality in AWS Glue Studio. I'll be covering how this functionality comes in handy, how to enable and disable it in the Glue Studio Visual Editor, and the associated costs with using this feature. So in July 2021, AWS announced the functionality in AWS Glue Studio to inspect your data in your job while developing your job visually. I personally find this feature extremely useful because it gives you the ability to inspect your data at various points in your Glue Studio job without having to run the entire Glue job. This allows you to reduce the development time of your Glue job as you're able to identify any issue before deploying your Glue job to production. All right, so let's head over to Glue Studio to see how to use it. All right, so we're in the visual editor of a Glue Studio job. And what we have before us is a simple job to bring in two different data sets from S3, perform a SQL query on it to aggregate and filter to find my top paying customers, and then write that to S3. So how this data preview button can come in handy is we can use it first to see what our source data is and what our SQL query is going to be outputting as the end result of our query. So in order to enable it, we're going to click on any one of our node and hit the data preview button. Now, it's important to point out that this service is not free to use. There is a small cost associated with it, but I would argue you not only save time by reducing the feedback time to test your transform logic on your data, but it can also save money by not having to run your glue jobs multiple times just to test a specific transform or if your permissions are working correctly that you've configured. So let's talk about the costs associated with this feature. So when you enable a data preview session, AWS is spinning up a two node Spark cluster that you don't have to manage. The cost of the session is one DPU for a 30 minute session. And at the time of making this video in most regions, this comes out to 44 cents for a 30 minute session. We can also end the session at any time, which will shut down the cluster and will stop charging us. So let's go ahead and hit the start data preview button. Before we can start the session, we have to choose our IAM role, which will have permission to run this glue job. So you want to make sure that you've pre-configured an IAM role that has access to A, the data, and B, the abilities to actually run a Spark job. And the documentation can tell you a little bit more about what those permissions should be. All right, so I'm happy with my IAM role, and I'm going to hit confirm. Now it could take around 20 to 30 seconds for our cluster to spin up and data to start appearing in our data preview window. However, this is a one-time startup and when you are moving between different nodes to preview the data, it's almost instantaneously, which is good. And as I mentioned, you can click on any one of your nodes now, hit the data preview button, and you're going to start seeing some previews of your data coming through. Where I find this can be really handy is if you're adding a lot of transforms and you're not sure what the transform is going to do, or you're writing custom SQL code in your workflow, this will actually tell you the result of your end output. So let's say you make a mistake in your query. For example, I add some characters that don't actually make sense for my SQL query. And if I hit the data preview button, the data preview is going to attempt to load the data and we're going to get hit with an error. So I immediately know that I have a problem with it. And I'm going to go back and make that quick correction. Um, and if I hit the data preview button again, it doesn't happen instantaneously, but it will regenerate and reload the data preview result. All right, great. We can see we got a preview of two records of our output, and we can also change the fields that are going to be outputted by simply unselecting the records we don't want to see and hit confirm. Again, and we can also see what our final output is going to be by hitting the data preview as well. So it works on data sources, it works on transforms, and it also works on the target, which is awesome. Now, a word of caution on anyone trying to use this data preview button on massive data set, let's say you're dealing with a terabyte or gigabytes, you know, because it's going to be loading into a Spark cluster, it could take a while. So if it's going to take longer than 30 minutes to hit this data preview button because it's bringing in your data to preview it within that cluster, then it's possible it could time out. So one thing you can do is if you limit your fields that you're bringing in, so let's say if you have 100 or 200 fields, limit that to only the ones you're interested in, or you could try to limit the data that you want to bring in. So perhaps keep the schema the same, bring in a sample data set that you're going to work with. So that way your data is going to load a lot faster. All right, so let's talk about how we end this data preview mode because we are getting charged for this to be run. So if we do nothing, this is automatically going to time out after 30 minutes, which is nice. So if you accidentally walk away, you know, it's not going to be running for hours. Now, there's two other ways we can end this. So if we leave the job entirely, that's going to shut down the cluster running our data preview session functionality, or the other method is to simply hit the end session button. And now our data preview session has ended and we are no longer being charged. All right, so I hope you found this tutorial helpful for how to use the data preview functionality within a Glue Studio job in the visual editor. 
Thanks so much for watching and if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning more about working with data on AWS. See you next time.